Alright, what's up guys and welcome to Cult of the Lamb. It is a special day today because this game, in my opinion, is going to be one of the best games of 2022. It has been uh, so long since I've waited for this one and I'm really, really excited to finally jump in and explore it. Now, I gotta be honest, I haven't even played the demo. I have no idea what this game is all about. I've only seen, of course, the trailer, a few gameplays on YouTube and stuff like that, but I've never experienced it myself. But uh, I know for a fact that this game is going to be amazing just because of the look of it. And uh, I cannot wait to finally explore this and start creating our own cult. So, that being said, if you guys want to join my cult, make sure you leave your uh, nickname or a name you guys want me to use for one of the followers, of course. And if you had a preferred animal or a color as well, add those to the comments below. And without further ado, everybody, sit back, relax, and uh, let's just create a cult together. Let's do this. Praise the Lamb. Conduit to great power. Promise, liberator of the one who waits below. Yet sacrificial beast, take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon two rows. <laughs> Man, this already feels so very special. And what is even happening here? I have a feeling, yeah, look at that, I'm all tied up, all chained up. And apparently, I'm making my way... Um, not sure where, but I have a feeling I'm just about to be sacrificed. Man, this game is just so special. From the music to the animation, art style and everything is just so freaking beautiful. Oh god, we need to kneel to be sacrificed. Are you kidding me? Wow. Alright, well I guess, uh... It's time to be sacrificed. Before it stands the last of its kind, all others we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity. And the old faith shall be preserved. No! We're just about to be sacrificed! Um, what just happened? I guess I've been saved by the god. Although this god is probably going to transform me into its servant. Oh, man, this game is beautiful though. Absolutely gorgeous. What does it try to do? The one who waits. Come closer. Fear not, for though you are already dead, I still have need for you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask for you is to start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I love it that the only options we had is yes and absolutely. <laughs> and there we go. That is how the call begins. I love this. Look at that. Cult of the Lamb. This game is just so freaking special. Oh, no way. I love this. <laughs> All right, and of course, we can dodge and attack. Get out of here. I love this. There we go, buddy. Man, the music is just so freaking special in this game. I love it. It is just so unique. Everything about this game just screams beauty. Alright, let's get out of here. Dodge to avoid damage. Ah, of course, that's gonna be why we're dodging. Now, can I destroy the bushes? Yes, we can. Man, I absolutely love the music though. It's just so gorgeous. Alright, uh, apparently, I have to move on to the next section, which is this one, the sword. Here we go. Wait, what is this? Ratu. If you're not, I'm Ratu. I was once a chosen weasel, like you, but those days I lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. Huh. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Uh, can I grab some more stuff right here, I wonder? I mean, I'm not really collecting any resources at the moment, but I'm guessing because we already just started the game. 
Oh, of course, we got more enemies. Hold up. Man, this game is so special. I'm absolutely loving the art style, though. Alright, there we go. Awesome. And I think I just opened up a chest. Open inventory. Um, okay. Uh, let's see what it's all about. Huh. What coin, of course. Currency use for all manner of things. Hmm. Of course, this is our character, the lamp, where we're going to be able to add multiple things to it, right? And the cult that we don't have just yet. But uh, I cannot wait to add you guys to my cult. And uh, together, we can hopefully create an amazing cult. All right, hold up. Apparently, we got multiple enemies around here. Now, I wonder if I'm also supposed to take out the skillies. Are they going to come back to life if you don't? Doesn't like you know. Anyway, we got ourselves another coin. Awesome. Let's keep it going. Stop hiding in the bushes. Oh, God. You guys just got hurt there. It's fine. There we go. Even more coins. Awesome. Let's keep it going. Currently, the uh, battle actually feels really, really smooth. I'm really enjoying this. Not to mention how beautiful this uh, character looks, though. <laughs> Although the game kind of feels really, really scary with the sounds and the calls and everything, the characters though are just really, really cute. Alright, next up, I guess we're just about to uh, figure out how to get some people to worship us. Some characters. Oh, you know what? I think that's going to be the first one I'm going to be saving. We have nearly reached safety, but look ahead. Another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them, and they would have no choice but to join your new cult. Ah, uh, mighty bishop of the old faith, we ask of you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on the sacred grounds? It's me. The goats. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Get out of here. There we go. Oh, God. Never mind. Even more. I love this. And there we go. We got him. Save this little guy. Huh. Now, this one kind of looks like... Um, not sure exactly what creature this is. Let's just see what he's going to say. Whoa. Did I just teleport to him? Follower awaits instruction. Or indoctrination, actually, not instruction. That was sick. Wow. All right, uh, let's keep it going then. And next up, we are to uh, the question mark, which is probably going to be where we're going to make our cult or no. What is this? We have reached safety. You have done well. The red crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself to great distances. Ah, I think it's going to be like a fast traveling uh, mechanism, I guess. It will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There, you will be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. All right, buddy, look at that. So I guess I got to sit on this and return to the cult. Oh my god, this is just gorgeous. Heretics defeated. There we go. Awesome. Wait, why did I get... Oh, I think plus one that thing is actually telling me that I saved one cult member. Interesting. Alright, there we go. We made it. Please select a difficulty. Um, I'm not going to go with easy because easy is just way too much for me. Uh, way too easy, of course. Developer does recommend um, the medium one. Recommended for moderate players looking for a well-rounded experience. Hard is going to be, of course, for the very experienced ones. And extra hard is going to be for the ones that really look for a challenge. I am not going to go for hard, but I'm going to go for medium here. All right, Cultist Edition activated. There we go. Awesome. And I think if I'm mistaken, there we go. There's Red 2. This hollow ground, which was once mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. Ah, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> we just got him to come to us. Poor guy. The light of the woods. Indoctrinate new follower. All right, well, I guess... Uh, we're gonna have to indoctrinate this guy into the new cult. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Ah, there we go. And not only that, but of course, we can go ahead and add a random name to this guy. And also a form. Ah, we can't choose a form by the looks of it. Interesting. Of course, we have the ones from the DLC here. And we have to unlock so many more. Now, for the first one, I'm actually gonna go with um, Noah here. 
for the name. Uh, this is one of my members and he actually requested to be added to the uh, cult. And as I was saying, if you guys want to be added to my cult here, make sure you leave your information down below in the comments and I will make sure to add you guys in the next episode. So that being said, uh, we got Noah. Hold up, hold up. Let's uh, next up choose, let's see what color he wanted. All right, so Noah here wanted orange, which is gonna be this. Uh, I guess this is kind of like a dog or maybe kind of looks like a fox, I'm not sure. But I am gonna give him this crazy look here, just because I wanna identify him as uh, the first one. There we go. All right, and of course, we can give him a trait. Either Sloth, which is work and devotion generation speed reduced by 10. And this one is 50% easier to level up. Um, work and devotion generation speed reduced by 10%. What? Why would I want him to be reduced in work then? You know what? Let's give him 50% easier to level up. Actually, no, these are the two traits. I get it. So it's going to be a minus one and a plus one, of course. Um, so we got his name, we got his form, which again, I'm going to say that I'm pretty sure that is the dog. Oh no, this is the wolf. Um, oh no, this is the uh, fox. This is the cat. This is the dog. Pig, and of course, um, I don't know what this is. Maybe like horse? <laughs> so we are going to go with the dog here, first of all, of course. And uh, hold up, it's not orange. There we go, made him orange again. And accept. All right, look at that. We got Noah, our very first follower. Awesome. And of course, we can now tell him to go chop trees or uh, go ahead and grab some uh, stone. So let me tell him to uh, chop trees. There we go, buddy. Get to work. <laughs> By your hand, our cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on the prayer alone. They must eat. Gather the necessary resources and build the cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. Alright, apparently I gotta go collect uh, 5 lumber and stone. Now, can I help him up, I guess, with the collecting? Uh, oh, we can mine. There we go, so we can actually help him up. Not bad then. Of course, as you just barely begin playing the game, it is gonna also take you a little bit of work. You're also gonna have to do a little bit of work and not just wait for your followers to do the work. Uh, this stone is actually pretty big, so I think I'm gonna leave it for somebody else to do it. Let me just collect the small stones first of all. Man, but this game is gorgeous though. Are you kidding me? Just look at how beautiful this is. <laughs> I absolutely love this. It is taking my follower quite a while, unfortunately, to collect all that uh, wood there, but anyway. Now, I really wish that I could actually zoom in and out. That is not a possibility, unfortunately. Anyway, let me see if I can help him up. There we go, buddy. That was awesome. All right, next up, we got to build a cooking fire, uh, which I'm guessing is going to have to be here. All right, general, uh, cooking fire. So this one... I guess I'm gonna place it in here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to move stuff uh, after I'm gonna place it, right? Yeah, let's just place this one in here first. Uh, am I supposed to build it or is my... Ah, uh, no, Noah is actually coming over to build it. Is he? Uh, he is! No way! Look at that, Noah. Good job, buddy. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. I think I can also actually help him. Yeah, there we go. Your followers need to eat and it's up to you to provide meals for them. The hunger of your cult can be seen on the top left of the screen. When this gets too low, followers will begin to starve. Find more food while crusading. Pick routes that pass through foraging locations. Plant farms to grow your own foods. Seeds can be purchased uh, or found while crusading. Alright buddy, that is good to know. So apparently, I gotta go and collect berries, six of them, and, uh, cook, a, uh, and cook a meal. Now, I'm pretty sure we have berries here, right? So, let me collect these ones while we're at it. There we go, buddy. Awesome. I guess I'm gonna grab a little bit of stone there. I don't know if I have an inventory space a limit. I'm not even sure. I guess we've got to identify as we keep on playing here. For now, we have enough berries, thankfully. So let me cook a little meal for my little one. Uh, build that and cook. Ah, uh, there we go. So you gotta click on A to do it properly, of course. And he's gonna eat it automatically. Look at that. <laughs> 
Now we must build a shrine, but first we will need more followers and more goals, both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the Old Faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the Old Faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to their realms. It is your task to track down and slay them so that he may be free. Now go, there you shall find gold and willing recruits, and for those who are not willing, convert them by force. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. It is gonna be quite tricky to actually force them um, to convert to us. But hold up, is this like a chest? Oh, deposit resources here while you are away. Ah. Wait, how do I... How do I deposit? Uh, followers. Deposit resources. Ah, the followers are gonna put the resources here while I'm away. I get it now. Interesting. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna go and return with gold and return with followers. Interesting. Let's just check it out. Let's just go exploring. Well, Noah is gonna do a little bit of work here in the camp. So I'm guessing the first portal is gonna open up, right? And uh, we're gonna have to open up every single one of these. And all these portals are gonna take us to uh, the bishops. So I guess we're gonna have to go to Darkwood first. Whoa! What just happened? Ah, you know what I just noticed? That portal told me that I need one follower in order to open it up. And Noah just showed up to help me. Awesome. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> that is so cool. Can I take out this spider? Uh, no. I cannot use my sword, apparently, for some reason. That's weird. Alright. Aha. Uh -huh. So, we're getting our health, as you guys as you guys can see, we got three hearts in dark woods, and apparently we also gotta grab the sword, uh, equip. Now, if I'm not mistaken, every single time you're jumping into these levels, uh, the things that you're getting, the sword that you're getting, are gonna be randomized. And now, apparently we've been lucky enough to get ourselves a... sword. But sometimes you get other weapons that might not be as easy to, uh, work with. Entering the land of the Bishop Leshy. Those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. Wow. Alright, buddy. Let's go. Let's go in here. Whoa. Ah, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, we're also collecting grass by the looks of it. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do with the grass that I'm collecting, but... I guess uh, it is gonna be like a resource I'm gonna need eventually. Oh god, uh, of course we got more enemies. I almost got damaged there. And of course, I almost got damaged again. Get out of here, buddy. There we go. Took him out. Awesome. Oh, you know what? I'm also noticing that I'm finding coins in the grass as well. Ah, uh, that is not bad. So that makes me actually want to search for stuff in the chest and grasses. Okay, uh, never mind, let's keep her going. Or maybe I got the coins from the chest, never mind. Oh god, I got damaged. And of course I got damaged again. There we go, buddy. Right, got more coins, perfect. I haven't found any followers just yet, so I gotta keep on looking. Now, I just noticed uh, in the top right corner, we also have like a mini-map as we're exploring these areas. Not bad at all. Oh, what's happening? Um. Oh! Oh no, I'm getting dragged in! Leshy, how can this be? You were put to the blade lamp as all your kind were, and yet here you stand before me, unrepentant. The crown, his power, could it be? But I'm stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. Oh my god, we're gonna have our first boss battle? Or no, never mind. Hmm. I guess that was just a warning for him uh, telling me to run away. Which I'm not, because I just came across a really interesting character. Konek. Hmm. Praise the lamb, conduit to the great power, promised liberator of the one that was below. So the cards showed me once, many lifetimes ago, or has that yet to be? I have always drawn your cards, lamb, and yet this is the first. Take these cards and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. What power? Well, that is both known and unfathomable. The cards they shall decide. 
Ah, so I'm supposed to probably choose between these two powers, right? Uh, a heart offers a vow made plus one heart, or when attack, 10% chance of negating damage. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to go with an extra heart here instead of a 10%. There we go. You cannot argue with the draw. One might as well argue with the ocean. <laughs> All right, buddy. Man, this... Uh, the characters in the game, they're just so special. And of course, uh, here you can actually see the cards that you're probably unlocking, right? There's so many. Of course, uh, some of them we still have to uncover or maybe bring to him. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work. Anyway, let's just keep her going. Oh, what did I just get? Acquire the Lamp Flag statue. Hmm. I think I just got something I'm going to be able to build back home, eh? Yeah, look at that. A statue of Mighty Lamp. Required temple, cost 5 stone. Interesting. <laughs> awesome. I think I just uh, learned it, right? That was kind of like a, a blueprint. <laughs> oh, poor bird. Aha. Uh -huh. So next up, we got to choose our path. Which, you know what? I think I'm actually going to choose my path to go and get myself some foods. And of course, you can actually go ahead and forage. Hmm. Okay, I'm actually enjoying the game so far. Kind of liking the idea of us uh, having to take care of our cults. And also, not only that, of course, we're also going to have to defeat enemies as we keep on going. This is going to be a really, really special adventure. And I cannot wait to see how many of you guys, how many followers I can actually have in the cult here. Alright, uh, let's grab the last one. Let's grab some more grass, I guess. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it, but uh, we're going to have to wait and see. And uh, let's keep it going. Alright, and lastly... Uh, cannot go there. Lastly, we gotta go to the boss. Is the boss battle gonna be this soon happening, seriously? <laughs> I mean, I guess it is gonna be a little bit longer for the other bosses, but this one is just something to kind of teach us how the game works. Alright, hold up. Get out of here, buddy. And we're done. Alright, there we go. Got a little bit of more coins. Did I get 23 coins so far in this level, or what is that even saying? Alright, for this one though, I see that we have a path at the bottom and one at the top. Hmm. Am I supposed to choose the one that I want to take, or what? Ooh, there we go. We found this guy again. Are we all but players in this game over chance? <laughs> Alright, buddy, let's see. So, um, a minor remedy. The heart's won. Get an extra. Ah, he's gonna give me an extra heart here. Actually, a half of one. And then we got True Sight. Weaknesses begs exploitation. 10% chance to deal a critical hit. You know what? Let's go with 10% chance this time. The fate has spoken. Who will listen? I don't know, buddy, but, uh, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> let's go. So ultimately, is this going to be the boss battle? Nope, not yet. Oh my god, he got me. He got my shield. Dang it. Or at least half of it. Oh god, and I think we made it. Yep. I think we might have actually made it. Or maybe this is one of those... Um, hmm, followers that I may need to force into following me. You have come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I give myself to the cause, oh mighty leader. By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. Oh god, what is he doing? What? He transformed himself into the Andusias. What is daddy? Oh snap. Nope, 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 nope. Get out of there, buddy. Get out of there. I mean, so far so good. Oh, that's pretty easy, to be honest. Pretty easy indeed. And he's dead. Oh, you know what? I think I might be able to actually indoctrinate him now. We can convert him. Yeah, look at that. No way. All right, well, I guess this guy's coming with us. 
Please spare me. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. There we go. We got him. Oh man, that was epic. Follower awaits indoctrination. And apparently, I can choose between stone, gold nuggets, and berries. I'm gonna go with uh, stone nuggets for sure. Or gold nuggets, I want to say. Whoa, we got so many coins. <laughs> man, this is just so special. Hmm. So what is this guy gonna do now? Ah, you know what? I think we have finished up one out of four. Uh, in order to open up the uh, gate for the actual boss. I get it. Interesting. Well, in that case, next up we gotta return to the cult. Look at that. That was awesome. That was a really sweet adventure. And I gotta be honest, we haven't really done that bad for our first uh, round there. So let's see which one this guy's gonna be next. I'm relieved to see you made it safely, and you have not returned alone. You have convinced more to join our faithful flock. Let us indoctrinate this new convert so that we may continue. Alright, hold up buddy, uh, because this brand new one, uh, this one is going to be... Uh, I think this one is actually gonna be Manny. Uh, this is another one of you guys on YouTube that chose uh, to be part of the uh, cult here. So, let's go with Manny. There we go, buddy. Uh, for the form. What form does he want? Let's see. Cat. He said cat. So uh, we're going to choose a cat for you. Which is, of course, this beautiful one. And for the color, you said gray. So let me make a uh, gray cat over here. I mean, we do have uh, multiple. Light gray, dark gray. And also dark gray with uh, some yellow spots. You know what? I'm actually going to go with full dark gray here. And for the variant... I think I kind of like the one that's currently in here. So let's give you that. So you're going to have work and devotion generation speed reduced by 10, but ignores its centers when they preach, I guess, and heals 15% faster when sick and in bed. Hmm. Okay, there we go. We got Manny as a brand new follower to our cult. <laughs> awesome. And I think I'm going to get Manny to bring us some stone. There we go, Manny. Followers would either work or worship. Worshipping followers generate devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you require a shrine. And of course, it's up to me to now create a shrine. So let's just go ahead and do that. Build. Uh, and this is our brand new shrine, right? That we unlocked. So let's just add this one in the middle. There we go. And let me build it. Of course, the other ones are coming over to build, but I think I'm going to be able to build it in just no second because before they arrive. Look at this thing. Praise be. Your followers can now worship you. Here's a new follower. Assign them to worship at the shrine. Then collect the devotion your followers generate at the shrine to unlock divine inspiration. Oh, wait. Is he actually giving me one? No way. All right. Well, I guess I got myself another one. Let me indoctrinate him as well. And this one is going to be... Isaac. There we go. Awesome. Love it. Uh, and he's gonna be, let's see, a rabbit, he's saying. He's saying that he likes rabbits. Unfortunately, I do not think I unlocked rabbits so far, buddy. Yeah, I definitely don't have a bunny for you just yet. I do see that... Do we have bunnies in here? No, that's a rat. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is going to be the ability to have any... Actually, I don't see any bunnies, to be honest, in the menu here. So, because of that, I'm going to give you... What should I give you, then? What do you say about a monkey, buddy? Exciting efficiency is actually going to be a monkey. <laughs> Since we don't have a bunny for him. Uh, choose colors. Let's see. He didn't really specify a color that he wants. So, I'm going to make him look more like a uh, sneaky Sasquatch monkey. Why not? Let's see if we can do that for him. Uh, well, I guess it's gonna have to be either this or this. Yeah, let's just even like that brown. And for the variant... Whoa, this looks more like Zinky Sasquatch. There we go. <laughs> Unfortunately, this one is kind of sickly. He heals 15% slower and loses uh, minus 5 faith whenever another follower dies. Oh, God. I have a feeling Isaac here is actually gonna be pretty difficult uh, to maintain. But um, let's just try. There we go. We got Isaac in. 
and we are gonna have him worship. Collect devotion from your shrine. Once you collect enough, you will unlock the divine inspiration. The more followers worshiping at your shrine, the faster they will fill up. If the shrine is full, they will stop worshiping until it is emptied. Once you have collected divine inspiration, unlock new buildings for your cult through the shrine. All right, awesome. <laughs> Look at this guy. So he's gonna keep on worshiping here to give us, uh, I guess, some points. All we gotta do is just collect from the shrine. So let me go ahead and do that. Here we go. Collect divine inspiration from the shrine. How many? Uh, oh, we gotta collect now. Here we go. So apparently we can go ahead and make a temple. Establish the temple to preach sermons and perform rituals. Oh, there we go, we unlocked it. So I think next up we're gonna have to build it maybe. But can I maybe unlock sleeping bags as well? No, we require one more uh, divine thingy, I guess. All right, build the temple. Uh, let's see, let me go here. And we don't have the resources. Uh, let me see if these fellas have actually collected resources for me. And apparently they did, it's automatically jumping into your backpack, which is great. All right, I just need stone, so let me help up with the stone here. Uh, at the same time, I think I also want to cook some meals. Um, basic berry bowl and hearty meat broth. Let's make one of these. And I guess a few of these. Why not? There we go, buddy. And the reason we're cooking here is because I think my little ones are going to need some foods. If not, I guess they're going to find the food here. There we go. Perfect. All right, let me grab more stones. Awesome. And let's just build the temple. All right, where do I want to place the temple, though? Hmm. I mean, I guess having the temple, like, right about here might be the perfect spot, just like that. Or maybe like this, yeah, right over here. All right, there we go, let's build it up. And look at that, all the other ones are also coming over to help up with the build. I love that. And of course we are building faster once they show up and help us. Oh, there we go, that temple looks amazing. The temple is the center of the cult. From there you will preach sermons to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your followers. You are responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult, of course. If it falls too low, your followers will descend against you and eventually leave. Your followers are ready to hear your words. Show them that you are a great leader. Preach a sermon from within your temple. All right, awesome. And apparently I actually already see the level of their uh, faith, I guess. So let me preach a sermon to have them believe a little bit. <laughs> Look at that. Perform a sermon, drawing energy from your followers to boost the power of the Red Crown. Uh, no way, you're calling them and everything. That is so cool. Oh my god, this is epic. <laughs> he also made the sound of the lamb, that is awesome. Through the faith of your followers, you will grow stronger. Performing sermons will draw power from them and allow you to unlock new abilities, weapons, and curses. Followers with a higher loyalty level will generate more devotion. Therefore, the more followers you have and the more loyal they are, the quicker you will gain new abilities. Ah, there we go. And I think I can actually unlock this one. Permanently gain half. Awesome. I think I just got myself a, another heart. Yeah, we did. Oh my god, this game is epic. Look at that, their faith has actually been increased. You have already purged uh, a sermon today, so apparently you can only um, preach one sermon per day. You were amazing to behold, a natural leader. I see why you were chosen. If you are to guide your cult, you will need to declare doctrines so that they might obey you. Return to the lands of the old faith and seek out the commandment stone fragment. With these, you will be able to declare new doctrines. Huh. Okay, can I also grab me more of these? Yes, we can. Apparently, I'm gonna need 13 of them to get another upgrade, I think. Now, hold up, let me go through my cult here, apparently. So, Cult of the Lamb, Followers, it tells how many we have. And of course, if I go into Followers, we can actually see each one of them. Uh, their level and their information, I guess. Hungers and uh, how sick they are and everything like that. Interesting. Uh, in here, you can actually see information about myself, my inventory. So, we are gonna have an inventory system. 
And of course the quests. You can also see the ones they finished and the ones that you're currently tracking. All right, well in that case, uh, let me collect these ones and keep on going to the next destination. All right, so apparently here, I gotta find the Commandment Stone Fragment. Uh, I gotta go to the land of the Old Faith. Now, how do I find that? Am I supposed to go back in here? The Dark Woods. Yeah, I'm not a Humpstead sure, but I think I am. And look at that, we got ourselves a, a different weapon this time. Hmm. Wait, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to go through here again. Because now the mission changed to find the commandments. Oh, gods. Gotta pay attention for this weapon because this one is a little bit slower to hit. But it does have a really huge, uh... But it does have a really, really huge, um... Swing, I guess. Oh, gods. Alright, got damaged there a little bit, but that's fine. What is that? This dude again, seriously? So, you foolishly persist, little lamb. I hear your lies and I smell your fear. The red crown rises again. But, it's not enough to... I guess something. Hold up, apparently I got a quest here to kill Leshy. And we are gonna have to focus on that very soon as well. First, I wanted to track that quest, but I couldn't do it. Uh, hold up, let me go into the quests. Right over here. Quests and kill Leshy in the Dark Woods. Track. There we go. We tracked this one down as well. So we can now see two of the missions that we gotta do. Alright, uh, we do have one path to the right and one at the bottom. Let me go to the right first. Ooh, we found this guy again. I can feel Fate's hand on the cards this night. Alright, this night we're going with. When hit down to uh, half a heart, all enemies will be dealt to damage. And 10% chance to deal a critical hit. Um, you know what? Let's go with this one on the left side. In case I'm going to be absolutely destroyed, hopefully I'm going to be able to take care of them. Because who knows what type of enemies I'm going to get. Oh, snap. What the heck is this? Oh, I'm glad I found you. I bring good news. The one who waits is pleased with your progress and wishes... I wish to grant you a crown ability. Whoa, what is happening? Holy smokes. All right, apparently I got hold on white. Aim. What? We got to shoot down these things. Are you kidding me? Wow. Well, that ability is amazing. Look at this thing. And apparently I can also grab these red things, which I'm not sure exactly what they are. Enemies we slay will now drop fever. Collect this to replenish your curse. Hmm. Fever is the righteous anger earned by striking down non-believers and work like ammunition for your curse. Um, fever will drop when you slay an enemy. Collecting it refuels your curses. Hmm. So yeah, look at that. It actually refills. That is pretty sick. Oh my god, but I love it that it's like a uh, <laughs> it's like a crossbow. There we go. Fill the backup. Awesome. Let's keep it going. Oh my god. That is so sick. Oh yeah. I love it. Uh, let me grab the heart. Perfect. And uh, let's keep it going. Hmm. We acquired a feather necklace. Interesting. Follower will have increased movement speed now. Okay, not bad. So I'm guessing I'm gonna be able to give this uh, necklace maybe to somebody and allow him to be a little bit faster. All right, uh, what do I want to go next? Hmm. You know what? I think I want to take this right path, and the reason I'm gonna go for here is because I really, really want to get me another one of these followers. So uh, let's just go. Whoa! Look at all the gold. Thankfully, we're also gonna get back home with uh, some resources. Golden Nuggets. Love it. Alright, let's keep her going. And now, we got ourselves... A follower to save. Oh, look at this guy. 
The follower of Dark Wood burned down our village. Please, I have nowhere to go. Oh man, poor guy. Don't worry, buddy. I'm gonna rescue you. Poor little guy. <laughs> Alright, join my cult. And uh, let's take revenge. They shall never do that again. Alright. Let's keep it going. And lastly, we gotta get to the boss. You again. Steal the vote. Wait, we can steal the devotion? Ah, because this is just a statue and we stole it from him. I get it. Uh, and we can also break it down. Interesting. Oh, wait, it's rebuilding. Huh. That was interesting. I was not expecting it to actually rebuild itself. Can I destroy it again? Yeah, but it is gonna rebuild again, so there's nothing I can do about it. Alright, let's keep it going then. Oh, God. Get out of here, buddy. Alright, awesome. Let's keep her going. Now, I still haven't found the uh, fragment. Ooh! What is this guy? <laughs> that was weird. Oh, look at all these spiders. <laughs> Hold up, let's grab this one as well. Okay. Not what I was expecting from that chest, but anyway. Oh, what is this? Haro. Enos Aga. Eons are gone, these lands were rife with gods and their adherents. What befell this Patheon? Alas, this is the nature of beasts to forget and of gods to become forgotten. Mayhap they left, mayhap they slept, mayhap they devoured and were devoured in turn. Those few remaining spread the roots, spun webs, molded this wall to meet them and, uh, and theirs. Twer land of many gods, once hundreds now. Hmm. So am I supposed to choose one of these stones, I wonder? Pick up commandment stone fragment. Yeah, we gotta choose one of them apparently, so I guess I'm gonna go with this beautiful one here. Oh, never mind, you can actually grab all of them. Awesome, look at that. We got it. <laughs> you have found enough fragments to form a commandment stone. Commandment stones are used to declare a new doctrine to your cult to follow. Use the author to your temple to declare a new doctrine whenever you form a new commandment stone. I love it. So, does that mean that I can actually go to the left side here? Grab myself another one of these uh, cards. So let's see, we got Divine Strength, Attack Rate Increased by 1.25, and Deal Poison Damage to Enemies Struck. Hmm. Now I'm gonna actually increase my rate here. There we go, the Faith has spoken. And now, let's take out the boss. Valier. What the heck? Oh, snap. Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 buddy. You're gonna stay away from me. Oh, God. Gotta stay away from this. Yeah, you run. You better one, buddy. I love this, actually. And I will also definitely hit him like that. That is so cool. Fighting this boss so far has been really, really fun. Come on, buddy, stop. There we go, we got him. Oh, and this one looks all red and everything. He's so freaking cool. All right, buddy, well, guess what? You're coming with me. We got ourselves another follower. Awesome. And in return, I'm either gonna go with gold nuggets or should I go with a uh, berry bush seed? Oh, you know what? I think I'm actually gonna go with a berry bush seed because this will allow me to actually plant more berries. So let's just grab it. There we go. Awesome. Now, did I just get myself another one of those uh, fragments for one of those stones? I think I did. Hmm, yeah, I think I did. But look at that. We have completed another half, another piece of the yeah, door there. All 
All right. And we defeated quite a lot of heretics in this one. And not only that, but we got ourselves another follower. Now, we haven't managed to indoctrinate this one yet. Oh, what's happening? The heck? Very good, my vessel. It seems I chose well when I kept you from death. I will be watching your every move. Do not disappoint me. There we go. Alright, and we are back to the cult. Well, so many resources that these guys collected as uh, we were away. Now, what is even happening here? Hmm. Uh, declare a new doctrine from the author. Uh, first of all, let me collect this. Awesome. Divine inspiration unlocked. Oh, wait, I think I can actually go in here and get myself the ability to farm, to create farm plots, because now I'm going to be able to actually farm, right? To plant those uh, seeds. There we go. And I wonder if I can also get myself some beds for my little ones. No, I need more inspiration, I guess. Yeah, I think I need a little bit more to get the beds going. But first, guess what? We got ourselves another follower. Alright, this one will be, let's see, Pansy Koser? <laughs> this is how his name is, apparently. So, uh, let me just pan C Koser. There we go. Pansy Koser, we got him. Uh, we are gonna make him into... <laughs> He's saying a bald animal. That's what he wants to be. Well, guess what, buddy? You're joining the cult of the bald. So, uh, we're definitely gonna use a bald one. Uh, this one does have hair, so I'm not gonna give you that one, though. I guess I can either give you... You know what? I mean, this one is bold, although it has those wings. But uh, this one is the Cthulhu. So, guess what, buddy? You're getting the Cthulhu here. So, let me give you the Cthulhu. Uh, for the color... Uh, you also said an otter, which um, I'm pretty sure at the moment we don't really have an otter unlocked. I don't know if that's going to be an option or not. At the moment, they definitely don't have it unlocked. So, as I was saying, I'm going to leave you Cthulhu. And you haven't really chosen a color. So for the color, I guess I'm just going to make you um, a red Cthulhu. Just like that. And for the variant, I'm going to have you a little bit special with a cross on your forehead. Haha, <laughs> that is so cool. Alright, apparently the traits. You're going to gain faith when building better sleeping uh, quarters, apparently. Uh, minus faith when a follower is sacrificed. And ignores the centers when they uh, preach. Alright. There we go. We got ourselves... Pansy Koser. <laughs> Hopefully I pronounced you right. Uh, for you, buddy, I think I'm going to have you building. And the reason I want to have that, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you do have some trades that are really important. There is nothing left to build. Oh, great leader. Wait, what just... Oh, we got another one. Did I just get another one? Alrighty then. Well, I guess we got ourselves another one right over here. And this one... Uh, is going to be, let's see, actual insanity. There we go, buddy. I just got actual insanity here. Uh, he just wanted, let's see. He absolutely adores kittens and cats, and he wants to be red. Uh, so I'm going to make him a cat over here. For the color, he's going to have to be a red one. I mean, we have these two variants. I'm not sure exactly which the difference is between these, to, to, be, to be honest. <laughs> they do uh, look the same. I guess I'm going to go with that red cat. Or this one. For the variant... <laughs> I kind of like the look of this one, actually. Let's give him this one. And unfortunately, you do have work and devotion generation speed reduced by 10%. And you're losing 10 faith when you're falling ill. But that's fine. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to keep you guys healthy as long as I can. All right, there we go. We got actual insanity. And I think I'm going to get actual insanity to bring us a uh, stone. There we go. I think I should have gotten him actually to pray a little bit here, to be honest. Uh, hold up. Let me try to change that. Let me see if I can change that. Work. Make the demands of your follower. Work. And worship. There we go. We're going to get him to worship. Much, much better like that. All right, I see that they are getting a little bit hungry, so let me go in here for a second and add that. All right. Let me collect a little bit of berry here. Because I may need to make more food, to be honest. Oh, wait, did he actually poop? <laughs> no way, look at that. We're actually cleaning up the poop. Unsanitary conditions that you're cold will cause your followers to become sick. 
If a follower becomes sick, assign them to the bed rest or they will kill dying. Resting will allow them to slowly recover. Poop, vomit, and dead bodies causes illnesses to spread quickly through the cults. Cleaning messes and burying bodies will prevent this, uh, the spread of the illness. <laughs> oh my god. So we just unlocked apparently a new thingy that's gonna probably happen. I gotta make sure. I'm gonna do my best, guys, to try to keep you all alive. I cannot promise anything, though. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Alright, uh, let me grab another one of these. Oh, there's another poop down here. Clean it up, clean it up. We don't need poop anywhere. And we got more food. Awesome. That is more like it. Oh, more poop here. Come on, dude. You gotta stop pooping. <laughs> Alright, and what I want to do next is I want to build uh, something. I want to build this. Okay, so this is going to allow me to actually make some plops and plant stuff around, I guess, right? Let's make like a farm over here, I guess. And build. Ah, there we go. We're helping. Love it. Oh, and I can actually go ahead and plant the pushberry. Uh, water down. Hmm. I'm guessing this is going to be probably like a new job, right? I'm going to be able to give uh, to my little ones eventually. Nope, I don't want to do that. I want to help you guys build. Alright, build this up. There we go. Plant, plant, plant. Then I'm going to have to water down everything. Man, this is going to take a lot of management. That is crazy, but I don't mind it because I absolutely love these type of games. Uh, where you manage your bases and everything like that. That is going to be really, really awesome. Alright, let's get that going. And we are good to go. Alright, hopefully you guys haven't pooped anywhere again. Because I'm going to have to actually start up... Uh, first of all, let me click this. There we go. Unfortunately, not enough to upgrade again. But I'm going to start up another sermon here. And this time, we're going to declare Doctrine. Alright, so we got a sermon or the crown. Uh, perform a sermon drawing energy from your followers to uh, bolster the power of the red crown or crown. Upgrade and expand the abilities of the red crown. Wait, what am I supposed to do actually? Author in your temple. Am I supposed to do both of them? I guess I'm gonna do both of them, whatever. Let me just draw power from them first. There we go, everybody. That is awesome. And next up, we're going to go with uh, Curse of the Horde or Bane Weapon. Let's go with Curse of the Horde. Three new courses will appear on your Crusades. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to have three curses showing up next. And look at that, we unlock the next stage. Perfect. Oh, I love this. <laughs> They're all happy. And next up, let's go with the crown. Alright, crown offerings. Declare a new doctrine. Use a commandment stone to declare a new doctrine to your cult. Select from category and make a choice that will unlock either a, a new ritual, trait, or a follower uh, interaction. Um, hmm. What should I get though? A noble garb fit with the leader of the cult. I mean, this is the one that we already have on us right now. Ah, oh, there we go. I think we did it. Bonfire Ritual. Dance around the flame to increase the cult's faith. Declare a new doctrine. Alright. And, uh, hold up. I need bones in order to get this one going. Which, of course, we do not have at the moment. In order to make the bone fire. And uh, next up, we can actually do rituals. But, of course, I need the bones, right, if I want to do this one. I don't have the right materials. Not bad. Huh. That was pretty special. Preaching sermons, performing rituals, and providing for the needs of your followers will keep their faith high. The bones of your enemies are required to perform such rituals. Destroy their skeletons to gather their bones. Return to land of the old faith. Gather bones from the fallen enemies. Recruit more followers and return to perform a ritual here in the temple. Hmm. Alright. Well, apparently I'm going to have to perform another ritual once I'm going to get myself the bones from uh, my enemies. Uh, the ritual I perform using bones of your fallen enemies after slaying a non-believer decreases their bodies to gather their bones and use them to perform dark rituals to your temple. Hmm. So apparently I'm gonna have to probably do a dark ritual very, very soon here. Interesting. 
Now, again, if I jump into my cold, uh, I don't see... I mean, this is the inventory that we got right now. Oh, we're even carrying the poop that we're collecting, seriously? I'm guessing I'm gonna be using it as fertilizer, and I think I can actually go ahead and plant it. Ah, oh, there we go, you can actually plant it. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, of course, I can uh, also go ahead and plant more stuff, but I don't think I have enough money because I, had, I did spend quite a bit. Uh, let me collect more food here. My little ones do seem to be a little bit um, hungry, though. Let me collect these ones while we're at it. There we go. Let me place another fertilizer. And make more food in here. One. Two, three, four. Are they gonna stop being hungry, I wonder? I hope they will. Oh, I didn't want to go in here. Alright, we got that. We got a little bit more resources there. And they are pooping everywhere. No, 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 no. Don't be sick. <laughs> you guys gotta stop being sick. Oh, what is happening? Ah, uh, I think nighttime has actually fallen. I just noticed that. Aw, look at everybody sleeping. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we got Noah here. You can go ahead and wake him up if you want to, but I don't want to wake him up. I'm actually loving this, that they can actually go to sleep in here. <laughs> this is pretty sick. All right, we're getting very, very close to doing another upgrade, apparently. And uh, my next mission is to return to the land of the Old Faith, collect more bones, actually, and then perform a ritual in the temple. Great leader, the cult is growing by the day. It is time you give it a name. Ah, uh, no way, so we can actually go ahead and rename our cult. Well, guess what? This is Cult of the Bold. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm bold. There we go, buddy. I love this. This is gonna be the name of our cult. Cult of the Bold? Hmm, that has a nice ring to it. <laughs> Of course it does, buddy. Of course it does. Alright, everybody. Thank you all very much for watching. Let me collect these ones. And look at that. Divine Inspiration Unlocked. Which means we can actually go ahead and get ourselves another upgrade. Which is going to be the sleeping bags. Uh, unfortunately, this one apparently is very unstable. It will sometimes collapse by the looks of it. Uh, I'm guessing I'm probably going to need like a better house in order to... Um, have them sleep in better beds, but at the moment, I can only give them the sleeping bags. And I think that is exactly something I'm going to actually be giving them right now. Uh, let me actually make a few of these. So the beds are going to be going right in here. Uh, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, and we have one, two, uh, three, four. Yeah, I think I have five followers. So, I think we should be all good on the beds for now. Alright, let's just leave it like that. And uh, thankfully, my followers will build everything. Alright, everybody. Thank you all very much for watching the first episode of Cult of the Lamp. Or more like Cult of the Bald. And uh, a special thank you to all of you guys that joined in and uh, left in the comments the follower you want to be, the type of follower, the color, and the name, of course, you want me to input. And of course, if you guys want to join my cult and become a follower, make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, let me know down in the comments what name you want me to use, uh, what color you want, and the animal you want to uh, use for it as well. But that being said, have faith in the cult, guys. Bye!